हे गाइस वेलकम टू डेटा ट्रैक योर वन स्टॉप चैनल फॉर ऑल द डेटा साइंस एंड मशीन लर्निंग अपडेट्स इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल बी लुकिंग एट वन ऑफ द नेटफ्लिक्स ब्लॉग्स विच इज अबाउट लेसन लर्न फ्रॉम कॉन्सोलिडेटिंग एम एल मॉडल्स इन ए लार्ज स्केल रिकमेंडेशन सिस्टम सो वट इज एम एल मॉडल कॉन्सोलिडेशन एट द फर्स्ट प्लेस वी लुक इन टू ऑल ऑफ दोज सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड वन थिंग दैट आई हैव I have copied the content of a blog in a PDF so I can explain it better, and also I will add the link of the blog in the description section. So let's get started. So uh, the title of the blog is "Lessons Learned from Consolidating ML Models in a Large Scale Recommendation System." Uh, so what is ML model uh, consolidation? It's a single, single unified model for multiple tasks and multiple part of the apps. So let me explain what Netflix has. done is they have shown this example that uh, they send notification to the users so they have uh, one task where an ml model is there to uh, tell which type of movie recommendations to be sent to the user so this is the notification part of the app suppose the user has clicked or watched a particular movie or tv series they need to suggest related or similar items so this is another part of the app where they suggest related items the third part of the app is suppose user search for something there may be spelling mistake or it may be approximate search they need to show the relevant content related to that search and last is suppose they want to explore a particular category category like let's say romance movies or action movies they need to show all the uh, top items in that category so there are different part of the app or part of the website which have their on importance so now once we have seen different part of the app it will be easier to explain model consolidation uh, so uh, model consolidation is having a single unified model for different part of the apps and different task as of now uh, recommendation system used to treat each use case as a separate machine learning task and train a separate ml model for each task like the search query similar items notification or exploring a category there was a separate model for each part or each task with model consolidation it, there will be a single unified model the approach is simple uh, to generate recommendation for multiple use cases from a single multi task machine learning model and it's seen that when you train a single machine learning model there are many advantages like you have to just maintain one ml model but other advantages is that uh, since there is a goodness of multiple task uh, which help each uh, every task to share some knowledge and also whenever you upgrade a feature for a particular task since it's a common model that feature will benefit the other task as well so the goodness of multitask learning and feature upgrade for a specific task helps the whole system and also maintainability is easy they uh, additionally building a common extensible framework for search and recommendation has allowed them or netflix to build a system for newer use case is faster because there is a single uh, model and also they have developed a extensible framework so let's go into more details as i was explaining there are different part of the app like notification related item search and category exploration which previously used to have a separate ml model for each task or each part of the app they consolidated everything with a single unified model and the goodness of multi task learning which with feature upgradation of a single task benefiting every other task happened in large real world recommendation system like e-commerce streaming services and social media there are usually multiple ml models and each model is trained to optimize item recommendation for different part of the system there are separate models for item item search category exploration and so on and uh, however with rapidly increase in uh, model there is uh, it's become hard to manage uh, so many systems and uh, there are large number of specialized model which leads to increasing long term cost and reduce the reliability and effectiveness of ml systems so when there was a separate model the figure of the architecture looked something like this uh, for each of the task like notification related item search or category exploration used to have their its own label preparation featureization and model training and once we have model for each specific task they the online inferencing or hosting of model as an api will also be separate so this is the offline pipeline structure and this is the online infrastructure which used to be separate for each part of the app 
uh but one thing we can see is that there are number of commonalities in both the offline and uh, online infrastructure which system was not leveraging and uh, with the efforts to leverage the commonalities uh across these tasks to consolidate the offline and online stack of this model they came up with a single unified model and um, it has helped enhance the effectiveness of the model by leveraging knowledge gained from one task to improve another related task and uh, also they have noticed in terms of ef uh, efficiency implementing innovative updates has become much easier right suppose you come up with an innovative feature upgrade then that will benefit all other uh, tasks as well and now the new uh, architecture looks something like this where each task may have its own label preparation that is the zero one kind of label preparation for training but uh, the feature generation and uh, label preparation and training becomes common and uh, one more thing they have uh, told that since there is a lot of gain in offline pipeline because there is uh, label preparation feature generation and multitask model training has become part of same pipeline and in the online serving or online infrastructure what they do is uh, they have a flexible inference pipeline that host model in different environment based on latency data freshness and other requirements and the model is exposed via unified canvas agnostic api so this one so basically uh, there is a single model and different part of the app or different use cases may have different latency different data refresh rate or different need of candidate generation or different business candidates to be passed to the recommendation system and generate a score for them and so on there can be differences in different tasks so while uh, inferencing uh, in the online inf infrastructure th there are different the model is hosted in different environments as per the needs which makes sense right because different tasks may have different uh, uh, latency and data freshness needs so you can just uh, host that mo model as an api in different environment depending on the needs when uh, for example you may uh, for, for faster inference you may need a bigger machine a more costly machine and frequent data refresh faster inference but for some other tasks that much uh, things are not needed so you can use a smaller machine with uh, uh, lesser uh, inference rate and now they have talked about the offline design which is label uh, preparation uh, feature generation and modeling in more details so basically uh, there are uh, these steps one is label preparation feature extraction model training and model evaluation that after every upgrade how the model is performing on different tasks right so they uh, what they do is in the label preparation uh, clean logged data um, logged interaction data is used to create label for each task and similarly features are created and model training happens and evaluate and uh, then the evaluation happens and uh, the, for each task the uh, the features can be called as request context now uh, one thing that they have done is now since it's a single model it can happen that some of the feature for notification is not available for text search some of the features of search is not available for item item similarity right but it's a single model so we need the for the features needs to be same right so what they have done is uh, the features which can be made available for every task are there but if there are some specific features which has to be there only for notification and not for others they use a default uh, value and also for each task like when the uh, training happens uh, the training can happen for notification or search or item similarity or category exploration right so whichever task the training is happening on they introduce a categorical variable task type to uh, inform the model of the target recommendation task so in that way they do the offline setup of level preparation feature extraction model training and model evaluation just summarizing there is a single unified model for multiple tasks and uh, since multiple tasks will share the features there might be some features which are just available for some of the tasks so in that case for other tasks the feature value will go as a default value and um, uh, for each task a separate categor categorical variable is introduced to make the model inform that this is for uh, uh, notification this is for search and so on so that in training the model uh, use that information as well and uh, once this unified model is trained uh, for the online inferencing uh, different task or use case may have different needs so depending on that 
different environment the model is hosted upon and the data refresh rate candidates business requirements or re-ranking on top of uh, the model rank may be needed right so in that environment uh, those things are taken care of which netflix is calling as uh, canvas agnostic api so that this that's about offline design in online design i have already explained that each use case may have different latency throughput availability candidate sets budget or business logic to do pre or post uh, changes when post changes can be re-ranking so they uh, do it as uh, they can do it because it because the model is hosted on different environment as per the needs and uh, and uh, the in online uh, uh, setup uh, since different uh, model is hosted in different environment as per the use case they can tweak uh, the knobs depending on model latency data freshness and caching needs and as well as I was, as i was talking about they have created a use case agnostic api for the consuming system so finally summarizing the lessons learned consolidating ml model into a single model can be thought as a form of software refactoring it can be thought of combining different prediction tasks into a single model and leveraging shared knowledge and representation and there are several benefits to it and there are engineering benefits as well like reduced co code and deployment footprint you only need to worry about one uh, model and uh, maintainability is easier because there is just one model to be uh, taken care of and uh, and uh, as there is an advancement in one of the tasks then other task also benefit because features are shared so the learning can be used quickly uh, in bettering the other task and uh, there is better extensibility as in if you have to if you have to uh, it's it's easier in one model to add one more task instead of doing that thing for each part of the app so the final thought is uh, model consolidation is is a very fancy thing which many companies are using these days and it helps the engineering system to just worry about uh, one ml model which can be deployed in different environment as per the needs and it helps ml task as well to learn from each other and the uh, if there is an advancement in one of the task by feature addition or or uh, more cleaner data then other task also learns from it because there is a uh, task sharing and uh, so it may not be appropriate in all cases even though this consolidation simplifies code allows faster innovation increase the maintainability of system uh, on the other hand consolidation of model helps when the tasks are similar but when the tasks are very different from each other uh, it may not be very helpful so uh, netflix team is planning to establish more concrete guidelines for when ml model can be consolidated and lastly they have uh, talked something very interesting that with large language models like uh, large language models like uh, this chat gpt llama 2 and so on you can ask it anything and it answers because those are models which are foundation models created to solve multiple tasks right so finally they are they are just comparing this model consolidation of recommendation systems with llms they are saying that large foundation models for nlp and recommendations might have significant impact on ml system design and could lead to even more consolidation at system level right because these llm large language models are built as a foundation models which can solve multiple tasks similarly uh, if we draw some motivation from there model consolidation in recommendation system is also doing the same thing it is solving for different part of the app different tasks with a single model and uh, it's uh, gaining because the tasks uh, are helping each other in getting better as well as uh, the features sh are shared and if there is advancement in one of the tasks other tasks also gains from it and also it helps engineering by uh, they have to only maintain one ml model and um, uh, the they can just deploy it as per the latency needs and so on so it's a beautiful block around model consolidation of recommendation system uh, and we have come to the end of it uh, Hope you liked and enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more such updates. Bye.